Good afternoon, guys. Uh, today, I will be talking to you guys about my uh, professional career as a pharmacist, and I'll kind of touch base um, into some of the things that we do as uh, in my healthcare professional, and then I'll also give you guys some uh, some good, good old-fashioned advice uh, that I would hope would help you guys uh, on your path to success. Uh, before we get started, I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Stanley Azubike. I am a pharmacist. And uh, again, it was a privilege to be here today to talk to you guys about my career and some of the things that we do. So before uh, anything else, let's get started. So I am a pharmacist. Uh, as a pharmacist, our role is to deal with medications. Uh, we dispense medications. Uh, we, we are the drug experts, so to speak. So we know the ins and outs of uh, medicine. Uh, we teach and we counsel uh, our patient as far as uh, what to expect from a medicine the therapeutic uh, effect, the reaction, the side effects. So it goes hand in hand with kind of knowing from top to bottom what a drug does to the body and how the body reacts to the, um, to the medication. And then uh, some of the questions that was posed to me today was how I arrived to being a pharmacist. Uh, well, it all started when I was 13 years old. Uh, when I moved to the United States, I was able to kind of have this passion uh, to kind of be in that healthcare department to kind of make a difference in my community, uh, to be involved uh, with my community, uh, to be hands-on with my community, and just to make an impact on all these people's um, life. Uh, pharmacist was kind of that one uh, choice that stood out to me, because uh, not only am I learning you know, to be a, a, a medical professional, but I'm also learning to, to work with people, to be of services to the community, and kind of make an impact to the community community as well. And then uh, the second question kind of goes in hand as to uh, what we do on a daily basis as a pharmacist. Uh, like I was telling you guys earlier, pharmacists, uh, we, again, we deal with medications. Uh, so for example, you get a prescription from your doctor, uh, you bring that over to our pharmacy. Uh, we review those prescriptions. Uh, we review the, the, you know, the indication, meaning what are you taking this medication for, why the doctor prescribed the medication, and some of the interactions that you might have with other medication, for example, if you're taking other multiple medications. So we kind of break down every single aspect of, um, of that medication uh, from, from the prescription all the way down to you taking the actual medication. So we are there to kind of teach and counsel you know, our patient as far as what to expect from a medication. A great example uh, to kind of share some light as to what we do on a daily basis would be uh, if you get a prescription from your doctor's office, you bring that medication over to a pharmacist. You know, for example, let's say you're taking a medication that, that could potentially cause some sleepiness or some drowsiness or some fatigue, and you have an exam the next day, right? Now, as a pharmacist, it's our responsibility to see and know and understand what this medication could do and also understand the side effect of the medication. So it's our responsibility to not only give you guys a call, the parents or you, know, you as well, is to kind of walk you guys through what to expect from that medication. Because for example, if this medication causes you to sleep, we don't want you to take this medication during the day while you're at school, because not only can you miss a class, you could potentially miss your exam or fail your exam if you take this medicine and it causes you to sleep during your exam. So that's a quick example of how critical of a role we play as a pharmacist within the community. So we are there uh, to kind of walk every single one of our patients down to the details of what the medication they're taking for is for and also the adverse events that they could potentially get from that medication. And then also, again, we are, you know, this is something that we take pride in as a pharmacist. Uh, we kind of also do some of the math, you know, that we've, we've, we've been taught in school. Uh, for example, if you're taking a medication, how often are you taking that medication? What is the correct dose? What is the adjustment? How long do you have to take this medication before, you know, you can stop? So these are some of the math components and obviously the science components of how the medication is breaking down in the body and how this medication will interact with your you know receptors and also some of the, the 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 intricate part of that medication and what it causes the body to do uh, though those are where the, the that's where we truly highlight the science and math aspect uh, of that as a pharmacist so we are constantly every day uh, using our knowledge and skills in the math department as well as the science department as well so keep learning your sciences keep learning your math and the stem program obviously goes a long way in, 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 in educating you and also giving you the tools that you need 
uh, that, that you will need in the future, um, you know, in your future practices. And then I will leave you guys with my, you know, top four advice uh, that I would give to my 13-year-old self and as well as you guys. Uh, the number one thing would be to focus on learning. I mean, it goes hand in hand with your age. You're still figuring out what you want to do, where you want to be in life. You know, just don't be afraid to explore different interests. You know, try a new subject. Try that one class that everybody doesn't want to try. You know, just kind of challenge yourself. You know, your education and your personal growth are the most important, you know, thing in your life. And that's way more important than trying to fit in with others. So I will emphasize on just focus on learning, continuously learn. I'm still learning. As a pharmacist, it's never it's never an end game. There's always opportunities to learn. Uh, my second advice would be to be to be kind to yourself. You know, you make we all make mistakes. You know, you make mistakes every day. <clears throat> Hopefully, you know, as a pharmacist, you catch on. You know, to some of the few mistakes that you might see in your field. But again, we all make a mistake, and that's definitely you guys. You make a lot of mistakes as well. So, but it's so important to just. Be kind to yourself and not be too hard on yourself. You know, remember that everyone makes mistakes, including me, the pharmacist. But again, the key is just to learn from that mistake as as quickly as you can. Then that will further your growth in your your growth in your career and in your personal life. Uh, my number three advice would be to stay healthy. Coming from a pharmacist, you can understand the importance of being healthy, uh, taking care of your body, your mind, and eating well. You know, getting enough sleep. I can't stress out enough. Sleep is the number one important thing you could do for yourself. Is to get enough sleep for your body to regenerate, refuel itself, so you can take on the next challenge. So exercise regularly, get your sleep. You know, your health and your well-being is a big impact. Extremely has a big impact in your life now and in the future. And lastly, and I would tell you guys is to believe in yourself. Have the confidence and have your ability to not be afraid to face any challenge, guys. The sky is only your limit if you believe in yourself and you work hard towards your goal. And I guarantee you that you will go further in life uh, if you at least believe in yourself. And that is pretty much all I have for today. Uh, again, if you guys have any further questions for me, feel free to reach out to the coordinator and she will reach out to me directly. It was such an honor and it was such a blessing to be here today to talk to you guys. And I hope I will continuously uh, be able to talk to you guys, see you guys as well, if, this, if the situation permits, just to be part of your growth. Uh, like I said, I'm here for you guys. If you need any help, any guidance regarding a medication or life lessons, just come to me, reach out to us, and we'll, we'll coordinate that with you guys. Once again, I appreciate the opportunity. I thank you guys, and keep being great. Thank you.